the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. In order to emerge as a champion and influence, is the decision to be financially independent write it down i hope you are not shouting just because you like money the decision to be financially independent you know can i be honest with you many people shy away from the reality of this because and i know why usually when it has to do with the issue of finances there are two groups in the body of christ there are those who ignore it and say it's not important don't worry you just serve god he will sort your life and then there are those who almost is like an extension of lust and carnality and everything is money 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 from start to finish both are wrong but i can tell you based on the authority of scripture the decision to be financially independent is a noble decision and it's also a spiritual decision Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 May you never forget this scripture for the rest of your life in Jesus name Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 Why do you need to contend for financial independence? Here is one of the reasons The Bible says the rich ruleth over the poor And the borrower is servant to the lender Did you hear that? A rich man will rule over the poor even if he's a poor prayer warrior even if he's a poor fasting giant for as long as you are poor you will never be able to taste the corridors of power and influence it takes economic empowerment to lift the name of jesus the name of jesus is very heavy it takes resources to lift it up hmm. Do not join the ignorance where people find comfort in believing that everything will be all right if you are not financially empowered. What we challenge in the body of Christ is lost an affinity towards material things, not the availability of resources. By the time money becomes a God to you, by the time you become obsessed with money, even to the detriment of your relationship with Jesus. Now there is a problem. Materialism is not having materials. Materialism is the influence of materials on your relationship with Jesus. And you don't need to have money to be materialistic. There are many poor people who are materialistic. They don't just have the money to manifest it yet. Please pay attention to this. There are many people who are called of God today, but they are unable to do much for the kingdom. This conference right now is happening because there are financial resources to drive the conference. It is not only because Jesus is here. Jesus is here and we are grateful. But what if the gen and the sound system goes off and you cannot hear? What if the lights are out? This magnificent um, ground that we all are sitting here it took resources to make it happen as i have toured around this amazing camp i have seen all kinds of projects ongoing it takes resources if you embrace poverty you will also embrace weakness can i tell you this make up your mind that what my parents could not give me they may be sincere people they did the best with what they knew to do. But in the name of Jesus, I'll be able to give my children what I did not receive. Don't transfer the same pain 
and hardship to your children make up your mind that under my watch the house of the lord will never suffer because these hands will bring resources for the lifting of the name of jesus the decision to be financially independent write this for reference as we prepare to wrap up ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 13 to 6 i'm telling you this scripture is a very powerful and prophetic scripture ecclesiastes chapter 9 maybe we should read it i know our time is up but let me just read it very quickly ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 13 we're reading just four verses 13 to 16. ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 13 to 16. the bible shows us in a very graphic way the danger of not contending for financial independence this wisdom have i seen also under the sun and it seemed great unto me what is the wisdom read on with me now it says there was a little city and few men within it and there came a great king against it and beside it and built great bulwarks against it 15. now there was found in it a poor wise man who was found in that city a poor wise man and he by his wisdom delivered the city yet no man remembered that same poor man it's in your bible 16 then said i wisdom is better than strength nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not here it takes wisdom and wealth to be had are we learning make up your mind that you are going to walk in the reality of the blessings of the Lord not for some competitive selfish carnal reason no I am telling you this when God grants do you know we are not teaching on finances here but many of the people who talk on finances with, with all due respect largely many people are not getting it the way it should be taught this is why it keeps fueling carnality and lust in people you prosper even as your soul prospers when there is anything wrong with your soul everything you have gathered or acquired is nonsense but let me give you this there are only two assignments of money in the life of an individual number one the first assignment of financial resources is as a tool for time redemption the first assignment of money in your life is to redeem time the unit of destiny is time you can use money to buy time number two the second assignment of money in the life of the believer a kingdom-minded believer is for efficiency so money only has two assignments in a believer's life time redemption and efficiency if god grants you resources and you buy a car what is that car doing redeeming time that's it if god grants you an opportunity and you move from a tenant to a landlord it has only helped to make your life efficient instead of smuggling six children in one room now you have a three four five bedroom you can even create a prayer room you can create all kinds of things so it gives you the convenience to live an efficient life everybody say time redemption one more time say time redemption say efficiency this is why believers desire the availability of financial resources for time redemption and for efficiency if you are able to pay the school fees of your children without thinking about it and you can send them to any school without the psychological stress of raising school fees one naira one naira per time it has helped your life to be efficient so you can focus on the things of god as a man of god when god blesses you financially he has given you time so you can lock yourself for three days seeking his face 
and not worry about deals efficiency when people are taught prosperity from a correct kingdom perception or perspective they become blessed and their hearts are never connected to those things finally have we been blessed so far the only promise you are going to give me is that you will use everything that I'm teaching you here that that the next time God will grant us the grace to see when I look at you where you used to be I will not be able to find you there again that you will be a thousand times over the final decision pay attention our time is up the sixth is the decision to build quality destiny relationships write it down ecclesiastes chapter 4 from verse 9 to 12 please give us that scripture the decision to build quality destiny relationships can i tell you this the command be fruitful also means be relational because the only way to be fruitful is through relationships it takes a husband and his wife to have a child two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor we are reading to verse 12 verse 10 now two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor verse 10 says for if they fall the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone the key word is alone when he falleth for he had not another to help him up uh-huh two more verses again if two lie together they have heat but how can one be warm alone verse 12 i wish you can see it for us to read together verse 12 and if one prevail against him two shall withstand him and a threefold cord is not quickly or easily broken look at me one of the greatest things that you can do with your life and the times that God has given you is to invest in building quality relationships can I be honest with you many people do not have relationships that were intentionally built many people have circumstantial relationships circumstances just brought certain people into your life there are three levels of relationships number one there are general relationships you meet people every day and the bible mandates you love them believers non-believers alike you meet them every day number two there are seasonal relationships for instance your classmates your schoolmates within the time you are together in that institution or that training taking that course you are together and you may be friends but the third and the highest level they are called destiny relationships or covenant relationships these are people who believe what you believe the foundational pillars of your convictions are also what they believe and you have a covenant of fellowship that you are going to be there for one another through the thick and thin. You will not just be there to stand together. That when they are on the ground, you will come and stand by them and help them and lift them. Can I tell you this? Woe betides a man if everybody around you is a psychophant just looking for your money or your titles or anointing. They will tell you because men are intrinsically selfish however there are still sincere people and my prayer is not just that you pray and say god give me one be one first hallelujah look up please we're wrapping up when jesus walked upon the earth for as long as he was celebrity Jesus, there were crowds looking for him. Some were looking for him for food. Some were eyeing all kinds of things, 
hoping that one day when he becomes king of kings and lord of lords he will put james and peter all kinds of motives but when jesus handed himself to die all of them ran away when jesus was going to golgotha my question where was blind Bartimaeus? where was the woman with the issue of blood where was even lazarus who was raised from the dead everybody ran away can i be honest with you you must obtain the grace and the courage at this level in life to edit your relationships don't treat everybody the same they are not the same categorize your relationships into outer court inner court and most holy place not everybody should have that kind of access to your life are you learning wisdom here someone comes into your life and in five minutes you've told him everything about your destiny you've told him everything about your past you've told him that oh your dad has a problem with your mom and tomorrow they go around and betray you and backstab you and destroy you you need wisdom it is not every visitor that comes to your house that you take to your bedroom no there are visitors who will stand at the gate there are others who will come to the living room but there are others you can literally take them to your bedroom and sit down because you know that even if you are in prison they will come and stand with you and say we die together can i be sincere with you this is one of the lessons that i have learned respectfully speaking in the life of our fathers of faith they may not have many people around their lives but my goodness god has given them the gift of men there are men who will stay like the mighty men of david in the cave of adullam let me ask you a question as i round up if you are in trouble today god forbid is there anybody in your life that you can call by 2 a.m and say sincerely there is an issue with my rent now it's not like i am careless and the person says over my dead body for as long as you are alive i'm alive i will not see you go through this hear me if there is nobody like that in your life you are sitting on a time bomb can i be i want to be honestly even when saul wanted to kill david and frustrated him david said is there any man in the house of saul that i may show kindness for jonathan's sake i have learned this as a lesson gleaning from the wisdom of the fathers can i be honest with you this is an assignment to everyone here write a list of the five most important men in your life people you know today who love you and will sacrifice anything for you invest in those relationships don't generalize and treat everybody the same way no there are people today if you call and say i i need i need five hundred thousand, they will tell you well i will help you how could you put them in the same category with someone who can stab you with a knife even if they give you learn wisdom i'm teaching you this there are people today if you call them and say look i see that lust is already growing in me pride is already growing in me they'll say no not when i'm there let's declare a three-day fast i will stand with you i will pray with you can i be honest with you as you are rising in life and in leadership you must start praying not for a crowd but for this man lord from the crowd select this man bring them to my life there are men who will vow and say even if you go to be with the lord today your children will not beg for bread when they are alive can i be honest with you there are many of our parents in old age today they did not spend their days searching for quality destiny relationships and investing in it and you would see some of them move and they will tell you i lived in us for 10 years i know this one i know this one but they are still in a position today where not one of their children can have a job anything money can buy relationships can also buy relationships are currencies don't use money alone to buy things use relationships to buy things 
this is one lesson I've learned in ministry as we pray. Man of God, young man, young woman, hear the word of the Lord. It is time for you to build quality relationships. This is one of the reasons why God brings a convergence of a conference like this. So that you can have men and women. Some of you, your destiny helper is the person seated near you. He may not be wearing the kind of shoe and the kind of cloth you see. Be careful where you look down on people. You may be looking down on the next 10 years of your life. Learn to honor men. Learn to respect people. Respect those above you. Respect your contemporaries. Respect your subordinates. And you have bought the future. I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. I set before you these six master decisions that decide the destinies of men. I cannot force you, but my advice, even this afternoon, is choose life. Rise up on your feet. Someday, you will listen to this message again. But this time around, you will listen to it with your children all around your table. Someday, you will listen to this message, but you will listen to it with millions and billions in your bank accounts. Someday, you will listen to this message again, but you will listen to it with mantles upon your head. Someday, you will listen to this message, but you will listen to this message alongside a congregation of a crowd like this listening to it. But I pray for you, that someday you will not listen to this message and regret and say why did i not make a decision one prayer point i speak over your life and we're done for this session father i obtain grace from heaven you have given me the keys that can change my life i obtain grace lift your voice and pray i obtain grace i obtain grace the lord has spoken once I pray that you will hear and hear again. Go ahead and pray that decisions decide destiny. The decision to make exceptional spiritual progress. The decision to contend for superior belief systems. The decision to discover and fulfill your God-given assignment to live a purpose-driven life. The decision to contend for your health and your physical well-being. The decision to be financially empowered, to be financially and economically independent. Finally, the decision to build quality destiny relationships. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashkana Catabranda Catacos, Catabranda Catapacotosco to break a take a legata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the.